two of my dreams was to be an airplane pilot or a lawyer. And a lot of that came from watching the old Perry Mason shows. What do you do when dreams die? What do you hear when depression drowns out the sound of a deafening hope? It can happen to anyone. And current Miami-Dade college student Desmond Mead knows all too well how circumstances can destroy dreams. In 19, around approximately 1994, when I was uh, doing a lot of bodyguard work, you know, it took a lot of hours. I had to spend a lot of hours up, you know, because of our clients. And I really started getting into using cocaine at that time. Um, eventually, in 95, 96, my mother passed away, and I really couldn't handle it emotionally. And it was at that time that I really just spiraled down at a rapid pace, you know, and I, within a matter of months, I was homeless and on the streets. Under the spell of drugs and alcohol, Desmond continued his lifestyle, drinking away eight years of his dreams. His immature behavior led him to court. I'll never forget the words of uh, Judge Manny Crespo when he said that the people of Dade County have spoken. And I now, as a result, I remand you to the custody of the Florida Department of Corrections for no less than 15 years. Um, as you can tell, <laughs> I'm not in prison right now, you know, so that really played a big part in and shocking me because, you know, I knew I was a better person than the one that was going to prison. And my, my mother did not raise me that way, you know, and I knew wrong from right. Receiving the gift of freedom, Desmond knew this time must be different. He made his way to Community Partnership for Homeless, an all-in-one facility administering food and shelter to its clients. The shelter provides access to job training, health care, and other everyday living amenities. It's also where Desmond's healing began. So Desmond, this is your bed now. Yes, it is. <laughs> this was where, um, when I came to CPH, this is where I, I slept at. What'd you think about when you were sleeping? Oh man, you know, a lot of mistakes that I made in my past, you know, and how, you know, I was wondering how did I ever get to this point? You know, what did I do to deserve you know, being in the situation that I was. You know, and at the same time, I was also grateful, you know, for being given the opportunity to, to get off the streets, you know, and, and given a shot at resurrecting my life, you know, changing things. Destitute and really hungry, Desmond made his way back here to the Community Partnership for the Homeless in search of a different kind of food, food for thought. One of the aspects as far as, as improving yourself you know, a, a very important aspect is education. You know, I've always been fascinated with education. My mother always stressed education. So I was kind of happy that a CPH was located nearby, you know, or close to the Wilson campus. And I can remember when I used to travel on the Metro Rail, and sometimes I used to sneak into the library, you know, and read books. Two years later, Desmond completed the paralegal studies program offered at the Wilson campus with high honors. He also works at Miami-Dade College's Law Center as an advisor. He's dreamed for the future, to attend Harvard Law School and become an attorney for homeless shelters and low-income citizens. He strives to keep hope alive and shares it with everyone he meets. Desmond is one of those people that you just, I don't know, he just has this influence, just this, this, this energy about him, you just can't not notice him. Right now, he's got very high marks. He can qualify for maybe admission to any one of the top law schools with his um, uh, LSAT scores, his recommendations, and his uh, very high GPA. But uh, beyond that, I appreciate what he does in the community. He's not doing this to pad his, his resume. He honestly cares about restoring people's rights if they've been incarcerated. He really cares about the homeless. The thing about him is that he's humble. He's not egocentric. It's not about Desmond. It doesn't begin and end with Desmond. It actually begins and ends with everybody else but Desmond. He can't help but be who he is, which is a kind, loving, compassionate person. You know, these professors give me the impression that they care, they care more you know about this student than just about getting a paycheck 
and I see them, you know, going the extra step to ensure that we receive a quality education. When intelligence meets education and willpower fades, there's always the hope of determination. That's the power of a dream. When given the opportunity, it can change everything.